This morning, Binance announcing some new details about its industry recovery fund, which it says aims to keep the crypto sector afloat amid FTX's collapse. In a blog post, the cryptocurrency exchange says it will devote a billion dollars in initial commitments to the fund and may increase that to $2 billion should the need arise. We've been following the fallout from FTX fiasco, but our next guest says the entire crypto industry faces a reset. She says the latest collapse is only part of a larger shift away from the ideals of the whole industry uh, were originally built on. Joining us right now, Emily Parker, the executive director of global content for Coindesk. Emily, what do you mean by that? What I mean is that Bitcoin was invented precisely to prevent this kind of thing. You know, Bitcoin came into the world on the heels of the financial crisis. And the idea was that this was supposed to be decentralized, transparent, and reduce the need for too much trust in one individual or company. And now we've had basically the implosion of FTX, which had this kind of larger than life leader, a completely opaque institution. Now, of course, this does not represent Bitcoin per se. This has nothing to do with Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency, but the ideals on which cryptocurrency were founded have been completely, just completely undermined due to recent events. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, if, if the whole idea was about creating trust in an otherwise trustless system so that you actually didn't need to trust anybody, the technology was the thing you trusted, uh, how could something like this happen? Um, when you think about the, the sort of follow-on impacts, the domino effects, lots of questions about Genesis, um, about what it means to the rest of, of Barry's uh, various uh, businesses, for example, how that impacts so many others, and then where Binance is in all of this. What do you think we're going to be seeing here? You know, I don't, I think this story is far from over because what we've seen is that there's been a domino effect and there's basically FTX had so many different loans and investments and investors and 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 you know we're starting to see yeah a domino effect of of companies that were affiliated with FTX now suffering the repercussions of this implosion so i have a feeling there will be more to come we don't know exactly where it's going to hit there have been some surprises thus far um you know in terms of binance yes binance now is saying that they have you know a recovery fund and what's interesting is that Binance, in some ways, is taking a page out of FTX's playbook. If you remember, um, until recently, FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried specifically were seen as kind of saviors of the crypto industry. You know, this past year has been a really tough year for crypto. You know, a lot of firms have been struggling. And Sam kind of came in, and he was like this white knight of the crypto industry, which goes back to my earlier point, which is that the crypto industry should not need a white knight because the crypto industry is supposed to be decentralized. And now you kind of have Binance sort of stepping up to the plate. The problem is, is that, you know, I would argue previously, in crypto, you had this problem where you had two companies that were overly powerful. One was FTX and one was Binance. And again, this is not a great look for a supposedly decentralized industry. Now you're down to one, which is Binance. And again, this is nothing against Binance specifically, but I think we should still have that same kind of skepticism about letting one company become so powerful in an industry that is not supposed to be dependent on any specific player. Emily, Emily, for the, um, the crypt ignorant, that is, people who are ignorant about cryptocurrencies, like myself. Can you put the billion dollars in context? Is that a lot of money? Is it a little bit of money? And what are the terms? Is it, are they coming in as kind of like vultures here to scoop up uh, things that are cheap, or is they, they're really providing aid to the industry? I mean, of course, you know, Binance is saying that they're providing aid to the industry and they're saying that they're not doing this alone. They're doing this with other industry players. Um, you know, again, I think we have to look more at the sort of symbolism of this and at the fact that we do have a kind of so-called white knight coming in. And you see a lot of media portraying it that way. It's not even that Binance is portraying it that way, but the media is saying, OK, crypto's new savior. And I think the danger here, and anyway, to answer your question, yes, it is a lot of money in the world of crypto. I mean, seeing how many billions of dollars of value have kind of vanished over you know the past few weeks, then maybe it's not so big in the grand scheme of things. But yes, it's a significant amount of money. But again, the symbolism here of one player taking on such importance and taking on this sort of role of savior is something that I think we should all be skeptical about. Because again, what happens if Binance has a problem? You know, who's going to bail out Binance? I think this is something that is a reason for just general that the crypto industry should be looking at with general concern.